I did want to make this last video before I departed uh, because over there and right beside the bridge next to me, in fact, uh, running over uh, the uh, sar is, is uh, Sergeant Major Creek. And so directly in front of me is the location uh, where Sergeant Major Walter Kennedy, a.k.a. Thomas Tibbs, who was a Confederate that re-enlisted under a, a different alternate identity for uh, into the 7th Cavalry. This is where he had his last uh, stand. This is his last stand site uh, over here at Sergeant Major Creek. There's a little sign uh, uh, for it when you uh, uh, come, come by here. In fact, I'm going to drive over it once while we have a little bit of time and uh, like I said it's some of this is private property or different um, yeah I think you got a good gist of it but this is this is the area where um, he uh, there's some romanticized accounts where some people think he might have been trying to rescue Clara Blinn or uh, for, for one reason or another he was found a little ways apart from Elliot and his men and when they found him he uh, you know obviously uh, supposedly the story goes is they were get, he was getting ready to surrender and when he was in the process of handing the chief his sword he instead ran the chief through with the sword and killed the chief and then they killed him uh, but my friend Joe is a big fan of of Sergeant Major Kennedy uh, aka Thomas Tibbs. Uh, I still need to draw a better picture of him for my book. So anyway, that's uh, the conclusion of uh, Custer and the Washita battle. Thank you.